Yeah, this is the 15th one, guys. 16th to this first class entrance. Now, on the instructions, what it's saying do is apply these first. So we're gonna apply these four big windows, the structure of the first class like that, slide it into the framework, if that makes sense. So basically, as you can see, but that's what we've got so far. Looking pretty good. Okay then guys, so instruction four is telling us now to position the first class entrance onto the forward section of the deck. Hey all, welcome back to the channel Ritual 3. Hope you're all doing good guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm building the Titanic from Ashit Pipeworks and we're at issue 73 guys. We're flying through these at the minute. I do hope you're enjoying them guys. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, like, also comment and share guys, I'd love to hear from you guys and obviously after you've watched the video give us a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you've not already. Guys there's loads going on on the channel at the minute, we've got the Titanic, Dom's Charger, um, Elvis Shorts, Millennium Falcon from Fanal, vlogs from Media Rose and the Ponies, come along guys and join me on my channel, take a look through the playlist, there's got to be something there that you like, oh and Z900 rides also, not put money in them out lately, but I'll try my best, I think I've got some in the bank somewhere, I'll buy that, I mean, stored on my camera from the summer months, hopefully can put those up for you when I get a chance to do so, but yeah guys, come along with me on this journey, get me monetized, I would really appreciate the support and I do appreciate the support, what everyone is giving me at the minute, they were subscribed, and giving us big likes and also commenting. But yeah, without further ado guys, let's crack on and build the Titanic from Ashton Parkworks. from Acid Park Works. Here's the mag for issue 73. Wow, issue 73, guys. Let's crack on and open this mag. There we go. Can't believe we're at issue 73. Here we have the box of parts we've got today. First of all, we'll take a quick look through this week's mag. I'm just looking at these magazines, guys. They are all creasing up here. But as you know, you may not know, but they do supply binders for these magazines um, which you can I think buy depends what subscription you've got or you can have them involved with your subscription so you get them every now and again to put your magazines in which is a good idea because then it stops them creasing up but anyway back to this build guys coming in next week's issue as you can see we've got the first class lounge support structure LED strip and cable large and small windows and screws so that's what we've got coming next week windows guys you know what i like about windows <laughs> so yeah we're going to be applying more windows by the looks of it so yeah you've got the usual good content in these mags of the sort of people who went on this ship oh and guess what we've got windows in this one as well guys no <laughs> and i thought this was going to be a nice easy issue no chance in hell i love it but man okay you can hear my breath. <laughs> right, that's how it's going to look completed. But as you can see, we've got a lot to do today, guys. We've got to basically work on the first class entrance and cabins. How many windows are we putting in? Oh, over 17 windows here, by the looks of it. Oh my god. Yeah. Suck it up, guys. Take a deep breath. And let's crack on with this week's build. So yeah, let's open our pots. Put this to one side and get this box out of the way. So I 
think this is obviously what we're going to be working on today and applying windows to each and every one of these window frames. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck this rubbish to one side. So yeah, this is 73A guys. This is the first class entrance and cabins and this is pretty huge to be fair. I mean, you probably don't do it justice on the camera, but that's got to be about 15 centimetres alone. And then we've got this 73D, which is the LED cable. We've also got 73E, which is LED lighting. And then we've got these two parts here, 73F and G. They are port petition bulkheads. So yeah, I think those are going to be going in today. And we've got some screws here. And I take it these are all the windows. Yeah, these are my favourite things of this build. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that, guys. Look how small those are. Now, regulars to the channel, you know what I have to do is take all these windows out off this sprue. So what I'm going to do is take them out off camera, place them all on the desk, and then we're going to crack on putting these windows into the first class entrance cabin. Yeah, this is the 15th one, guys. 16th and 17th small windows. It's a bit tedious, that's so what I thought I'd get all those, but if you do it, guys, be careful not to lose them because they're very fine and little. And you're going to have a mare trying to find them, especially if you're doing this build over carpet. So we've got 17 little windows there. And now what we've got to do also is take four big windows. So what I'm doing, guys, is using my tweezers just to gently push it off a sprue. And then, as you can see, they just fall out onto your desk. Yeah, but guys, I cannot believe... As I'm filming this now, there's only two weeks, give or take a couple of days, until Christmas 2023. That is ridiculous. The years are going by so quick, guys. But yeah, there's the four big windows. And now what we've got to do is apply all those windows to this first class entrance. Now, on the instructions, what it's saying do is apply these first so we're going to apply these four big windows and then we're going to put all the little windows along the rest of the side of this first class entrance and then this side will be done and then I would have thought we're doing the same on the other side so what I'll do is get this glue you can buy this glue from anywhere guys but I brought mine from the range in the UK I don't know if you've heard of the range or if you live in the UK you'll know what the range is so what I'm going to do is be daring apply glue just to the two windows first now obviously you can use tweezers for this or just do what I'm doing push it over like that same again and there you have your first two big windows I think what I might do guys is film this side of the first class entrance and putting the windows in and then I might time lapse it for you guys to watch it fast to get through it quick if that makes sense because I know we've all got busy lives especially this time of the year what with family coming around or you go into shops so yeah you don't be spending near enough an hour watching me <laughs> put all these windows into a first class entrance so yeah that's how it's done move this glue over here so I don't spill it so yeah as long as you're pretty quick guys you could put glue on these frames maybe three at a time you don't need a lot so yeah that's how it's three done take in mind these are a bit more fiddly and I'm doing it without tweezers, but you can obviously use tweezers, guys. So I do that and just put it onto the frame. 
the structure of the first class like that, slide it into the framework, if that makes sense. So basically look, as you can see, rest it there, slide it over the frame, just carefully push it into the crevices of the frame, and there you have it, it's in. And if you watch the first few videos of doing windows, it was not that simple. <laughs> so check that out guys if you want to giggle. But it wasn't very easy at first, but I've got a knack now. But that's what we've got so far. Looking pretty good. Just gonna bring all these windows over here, guys. And then put a bit of glue on this frame here. But I'm finding it a lot easier with this glue, with the brush. Whereas with the other one, the tube, it kept putting too much glue on and just making a right mess. Call it me grief. We all want a simple life, guys. And if you notice, when you're putting these windows on, make sure the little cross, just there, as you can see, is at the top of the window. And I do apologise in the background, guys, if you can hear an alarm, house alarm. Basically, filming these videos this week. The estate where I live had a power cut, including my alarm on the house went off, but I've sorted mine, it's gone off now. So it's a bit of a mare filming this week, but I do apologise if you can hear that in the background. But I can't stop filming for you guys, no matter what. So I just hope it's not causing you too much grief listening to it. Yeah, there's that one done. Yeah, you've got to watch you don't get glue on your fingers though, guys, because if you do, <laughs> you're going to be getting stuck everywhere, getting windows stuck all over your hands, etc. Right, so, you can get into a bit of a pickle if you're not careful, but just stick with it, guys, you'll be fine. But there, that's what we have so far, the windows on the first class entrance cabins. But as I've said just earlier on, I'm going to do this side and then what I'll do, I'll time lapse the rest. So we can get this done. And I'll try and find some cool music to put while I'm time lapsing it, guys. <laughs> If you're not already, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, especially if you like the Titanic. Now, I don't know if I've just glued that, but I'll put a bit more just in case. I think I did. As you can see, I put a bit too much glue, but don't panic if you do that, it'll be fine. It's a mad time to hear this guy, so I just hope you're chilling out and choosing to watch my channel just to escape the madness and enjoying these builds. As much as I'm enjoying building them. And guys, I do appreciate all your support, all the comments you do, all the likes and obviously all the subs all right, so put this one in here we need it there guys on this side anyway So we'll apply these last three windows and then we'll see what else it wants us to do. But yeah, these brushes guys with the glue are a lot better to use if, if you're doing this build with me. I recommend 
you get this sort of glue with the brush. But if you don't, you can always use, as I've said before, cocktail sticks, and that will sort you out as well. Right, that house alarm's gone off for a second. I wonder how long it'll be off for. <laughs> I'm not sure if this camera's picking it up in the background. It might be, it might not be. So if it's not, you're probably thinking, what is he on about? Go with me. This one, there you go, that last one was playing me up. But yeah, guys, there you go. That's one side done of the first class entrance. All those windows being put in. Look at that. So you can tell how big this is, guys. It's going off camera. But yeah. That's the first instruction done with the four big windows and 17 small windows. Okay then guys, to the right of my screen, you can see a carnage of windows, window frames. We've got little windows, big windows, and the sprue is now empty. So what I'm gonna do now guys, is put all the windows in this side of this glass entrance, and then we're gonna put them all down this side, and then the first glass entrance cabins will all have windows. So, Without further ado, guys, let's crack on. All the windows in the first class entrance now guys just take your time don't rush that's took me about 10 or 15 minutes to do all that um, on time lapse but just don't rush guys because when you start rushing you'll lose concentration you'll make mistakes just because you want to get it done I understand that I'm the same I wanted to get through that quick as possible as you know I love doing these windows <laughs> but anyway to take your time guys it's no rush you want a good result for when you've got your model up on your mantelpiece or wherever you're going to put it. But yeah, that is it. That's all the windows done so far for this first class entrance. As you can see here, the sprue is now empty. So we're going to turn the page over now on the instructions and see what else we've got to do in this week's issue. So instruction four, it's telling us now to position the first class entrance onto the forward section of the deck. So if you just put all that into place like so, just being careful not to damage your deck because this is getting very flimsy because it's getting big and heavy now, guys. And then what you've got to do, when you've attached that into place like so, you want to screw 10 AP screws to connect it all together. So what I'm going to do is start off the screws on each corner of this piece before tightening them down but yeah as you know guys if you're watching this build this is going way off camera over there and it's bouncing about wobbling about because it's so huge but that's down to really that my desk is not big enough <laughs> and i do keep saying i'm going to get my new desk soon guys it's going to happen i'm just not sure when yet busy at work etc and the thing is when I do do that I've got to be quick because everything I've got set up here at the minute it's gonna to have to be took down and obviously when I do that I won't be able to film so I want to keep trying to be consistent and film for you guys so I've got to make it a good time and a good decision when I'm gonna do it um, and when that's going to be so maybe it might have to be after Christmas I'm not sure because how busy I'm at work and we're not with life like everyone is um, because what I want to do is try and get it all done in one weekend and then hopefully it won't affect my channel posting videos to you guys on 
you know, just don't want to be doing it. And then the makeshift studio I've got will be carnage and I just won't be able to post for a while um, and take a full week and doing something stupid like that. So yeah, I will get a new desk one day guys and it will be a lot better then and hopefully get my studio how I want it to be. But like everything in life guys, it takes time and I want it done properly. But I might document that as well when I'm building the desk up etc new shelves I definitely need it guys especially for this build alone because it's getting huge but yeah let's carry on screwing this in and get it all connected together yeah just make sure all our screws are nice and tight guys which they seem to be and now the first class entrance with windows is now attached to the forward deck just a little tip guys just make sure the little tabs on the first class entrance slot into your forward deck so they're nice and flush before you start screwing or else you might damage something but that is how that's looking don't that look cool guys love that love it give us a big thumbs up guys just for that alone it's beautiful that what we're doing now is applying these petition heads these bulkheads so what we're going to do is apply a tiny bit of glue to each of these pins and then you can see here you've got three little holes what we want to do is place them in the three little holes and same on the other side a bit of glue like so Here guys be careful not to break your pins as you push them in and there we have the bulkheads the partition bulkheads fitted to the deck Let's just try and bring that round for you so they look like that stay tuned to the end though guys and i will do a, a final result of this week's issue now the final stage to this issue guys is applying this LED strip. So what we want to do is turn the deck upside down and you can see the stairwell and you can also see the clips here where this has got to go and here you've got like a little cutout which will go in line with that plastic groove. So but always be careful when you're doing this guys because it can damage so easy. I do not like doing these to be fair because it can be a bit stressful thinking you're going to break something but yeah just be careful take your time and then slot those into place like so there you go Whew, breathe <laughs> and there you go guys there you have your LED strip fitted to the bottom of the deck the promenade deck there we go and guys that is it for this week's issue it was a bit of a, a big issue bigger than i thought as windows was a bit busy um also we've got this wire here guys we've not got to use that as yet so we'll keep that for a later date thanks for your support guys thanks for your subs your big likes keep giving us likes and subs press that bell notification also if you subscribe guys you will not miss any videos i put up and um, thanks for your comments and thanks for your support and sharing the video really do appreciate you guys but for now for the titanic build issue 73 from acid park works that is it hopefully i'll see you in the next one see you later peace and that is it for this week's build of the titanic build guys is it mad there's only two weeks as i'm filming this maybe when this goes out a week left till christmas <sighs> can't believe that guys that is madness this year has gone so fast anyway back to this build guys what we've done today is done more on the cabin basically been attached put on the promenade deck and we've put some petitions in also guys and all this is in the first class entrance i'm loving this build guys i'm loving every build i do on the channel i do hope you guys are also and if you are you know what to do press that bell notification as you subscribe give us a big juice you like and also comment down below i love hearing from you guys but yeah 
for now from the Titanic build. Oh, and check out Elvis shorts if you're an Elvis fan. Everyone's got to be an Elvis fan. You've got to love his music. Check them out in the playlist, guys. Hope you enjoy. But for now, for the Titanic build from Asset Park Works, issue 73, that is it. Come back next week for more. Hope to see you there. Peace.